happy sunday good morning guys welcome to a new vlog if you're new my name is ruth um yeah <laughs> if you're returning thank you so much for coming back to another vlog um today's a sunday my voice is sounding weird because i was having a moment this morning i think a moment to i don't know my heart was just feeling heavy you know and i was just having a moment with god obviously to just ask for healing for the most part so i think by now you guys know that i've i, I recently got married i'm a newlywed and you know what I, I still have i still have those moments where i think i don't know but it just hits me it's like a flashback it just comes to me you know basically just how people were were treating me i'm I'm gonna speak for myself not for my husband um i think just about how people were treating me pre-wedding if i put it that way like the whole time we were preparing for the wedding we were planning and everything especially family it's it's honestly not easy dealing with it or healing from it especially given the fact that apologies have not been given if i put it that way it's so hard to forgive somebody who has not asked for forgiveness or who has just not come to you and it's just funny how a lot of people expect me to bounce back and you know um continue with the relationships probably before the wedding or before everything happened and just for me to pretend nothing happened when something actually did happen and something that has affected me my relationship with you know those people and my mom likes to say to me Hore, you know god says we must forgive i know that but it's just so difficult to put it into practice especially when when the heart is still so sore so i think i just have those those days i still have them i won't lie it's so difficult having to deal with it to be quite honest so yeah i think i was, I was just thinking it's still morning guys literally it's like eight o'clock in the morning and my husband went to work by the way so i just i don't know i just think i think i woke up with that so hard with that heavy heart this morning so you know as usual when i'm feeling down and i'm feeling low when i'm feeling hurt i'm just gonna pray some more worship i'm gonna worship continue to pray to god you know to bring healing upon my life to to give me the strength to give me the wisdom over everything to i don't know but i don't know if i'm ever gonna be in a position where i say i'm fully healed or i have forgiven because i think every time maybe probably somebody says they're getting made i just think of i i think of those days I just think of that, things that were said about me, things that were said to me, things that were done to me. I don't know how I survived it, I won't lie. Because for the most part, it's people who are very, very, very close to me, like extremely close to me. So, it's not easy. I don't even know I'm telling you guys this, <laughs> but it's not easy. I guess it's just one of those things where um i don't know i'm just trying to be more open or more transparent you know with my channel with my people my little community that we've built so yeah i have these days i'm not always happy not always the best and you know i'm just dealing just taking every day as it comes but today i i don't know how i know how i'm feeling but i just didn't think that three months later i'd still be feeling this way but like i said i think for the most part is how people expect me to act or relate with them the way that i used to before everything that happened happened you know but it's okay i think one day one day i'll be okay um yeah so i just thought let me start this new vlog today um it's a sunday it's a beautiful sunday uh one two what do i want to do i cleaned the house i think i would say thoroughly yesterday um on saturday i did not vlog that i'm sorry but today's a sunday i want to actually soak some some because i want to make like sunday lunch proper sunday lunch Ella. seven colors and you know spend some time with my husband 
I don't know, just bond, watch something, chill, cuddle on the couch, just, you know, be lazy when he comes back from work. So I think for now, because I clean the house, I really honestly, there's not much to do, but I'm just going to sweep the floor, um, mop, probably clean the shower, the bathroom, because I didn't clean the shower yesterday. Honestly, I didn't clean the bathroom yesterday. For the most part, I was doing the lounge and the kitchen. So I think I'm just going to do the bathroom. I don't know if I'm going to vlog that with you guys. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to soak some samp. I have not had anything to eat. Obviously, it's 8 o'clock. I did not shower at all. I literally just woke up and started crying. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do today. So enjoy. Uh, I hope this video will be long enough to be like a, a Sunday vlog. Spend the, day, spend the day with me. Yeah. So I'm just going to continue worship. Try to clean the shower, sweep, you know, soak the sand. Then probably have my breakfast with you guys. And then we're going to watch. I think I'm going to tune into the sermon. It's going to start in an hour and 30 minutes. So I think by that time I'll be done with the cleaning and showering and all that. Yeah. That's all. I start to stutter with the speed He's trying to stand on my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window Trying to stop for a sign It's the reason why I just wanted to plug you guys So I got this perfume but for The cocoons are gonna go Anyway, <laughs> I got this perfume from Signature. It was 50 rands. I think they have it in locally. So, yeah. It smells, in my opinion, it smells like the, the cherry something from Zara. So, I went into Zara. I smelled it. I'm like, um, I mean, I like it, but I wasn't sure about it. So, I decided to leave it. And then I got on TikTok, I saw the girlies were talking about this perfume, I wanted a bigger bottle, couldn't find it, so I got the smaller one, I think I got three of these, and then another one to try out, so I really, really love these for home, I don't usually go anywhere, it's like 15 ml, I don't usually go anywhere, <laughs> so when I bath, whenever I shower, I'm home, I'm just gonna spray this to smell good. And feel good so yeah i just thought let me plug you guys it smells really really good i'm gonna put the perfume that i think it smells like on the screen right here so yeah plug go get yourself this my cherry from signature really love it i think i'm gonna have pancakes for breakfast um yeah let's go make pancakes <laughs> we've run out of maple syrup though but we have honey so i think i'm just gonna have, use honey Yeah, 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 I'm not called to run, I 
Glad you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can't come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to me with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm. Told me I'm. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Know that I'm someone. No, I'm a child of God. God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can't come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you. God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again, I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you'll leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm. Told me I'm. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Know that I'm someone. No, I'm a child of God.
walk in my direction, I go the other up way. I start to stutter with the speed. Try to stand, but my knees go weak. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window. Trying to stop for a sign. It's the reason why. In my notebook, checking how my hair and my nails look. I feel myself in the zone, getting nervous when you go. I say I'm not home. See your face, and I hear my favorite song. Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone. I wonder if you know, do you have a clue? I lay my head on my pillow, and you got me staring out the window. We were shown the stars on the side. What's the reason why? hey guys um welcome to another day in this vlog so i am continuing this vlog from sunday because i feel like it was too short to be honest so my husband and i are currently in Khaborone. we just came to do a few things so before we head back home i'm gonna take him out yeah i'm i'm taking my husband out <laughs> So this is your sign, girl, to take your men out. Um, we're gonna try out Mozambique. He says he's feeling like ribs. So I saw a couple of people saying for the food, Ayago Mozambique is actually good. So I hope that he's going to enjoy his ribs. I'll see from the menu what I'm gonna order. Or well, I'll probably go through TikTok as we didn't find inspirations. So yeah, let's go. My hair's still a mess. I did not undo it, hence why I'm wearing this hat and I'm wearing this dress. It's so hot. I'm also gonna look for, um, I need bangles and a huge ring that Bonang wears. So I'm attending a Bonang Mateva themed party this coming Saturday. So I need to look for that and then, yeah, we're gonna be on our way to Mahalapi. You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Let the old and they call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Let the old, let the old, yeah. Drinks, menu And then Menu. I'm not too sure, baby. I haven't taken a look. And if a boy feel my make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he call my toes. No, go on. What's 
But I also feel like yeah, it's a meal, to be honest. Like my food, yeah, it's a meal. Yeah, yeah, that be. It's not something I, I honestly struggle to finish it, and it wasn't a big portion. On top of that, it's expensive. Why are you charging me two hundred and ten for a king clip and rice? Two hundred. Guys, I was so mad because I, I was under the impression it's like one one thirty, one forty, which is still a lot, but. 210 and my husband's food is 220 he had ribs he had um a piece of borroso and a whole entire half chicken with fries difference between bula anyway um yeah i think i i had a piece of rib i had a rib from my husband's plate i had a chip Fish is expensive. I had no baby, you can't compare the two. And then I also I'm tasted the comparing. chicken. I'm saying fish is expensive in general. That's fine. It's expensive, but not 210. For stoky rice. No, no, 210, baby. Wait. <laughs> no guys, I'm 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 mad. I don't wanna lie. It's um, <laughs> so um honestly I, I i'm not i'm not i don't know but my husband's food was really nice i don't want to lie to you guys if you ever go to mozambique order the hot of the key grill special mm, grill mix, mix. Uh, mix grill something 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 it had chicken half chicken riblets with a three Four pieces of ribs, I think, oh. and a piece nyanaya boros with fries. Honestly, that one is worth it. The portions are big. He couldn't even finish his food. So yeah, I, I think I would recommend that over what I ordered. In terms of drinks, my husband ordered a it's a vision pina colada, but they don't call it that. They called some Mozambican name, but it's a it's a vision um, pina colada. I'm not too sure about it, honestly. I got the man, she's so I, I'm going I'm gonna be biased. I ordered a Haribri. guys, honestly. The picture I'm gonna put a picture here. If you wanna try it, you can go order it. But honestly, it has a bitter taste, nyana. 
Are you sure? But it's nice. Go for a hair taste a little bit better. Baby, I'm not sure. Are you sure? Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the last time I came here for a massage, when blockage, by the way, I came here for a massage and then I passed by a, a tuck shop and got some ice pop. It's literally the best ice pop I like. I don't know if I should say the best brand, can I aim? But I love the ice pop star, this lady's tuck shop. So my husband, I asked my husband to pass here. I'm gonna buy like 20. I think I have 20 pillar cash on me. Okay, I already suppose I don't. I genuinely love the ice pops. Let me show you guys the tuck shop. I gotta. This is. What should I say? Can I not now? How about I say to you, what I'm going to say? What you say? What does it tell us? It's not a movie, tell us about the cat. So, I'm not going to say that. 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 I'm Hey, la wa is. Tama si ang kaya niya kasi. Ay ano na sa tinitira mo pa na. Oh okay. Nyamadi mo na sa tao. Ano pa na sa tao? Mga siya wala talo sa tao. Eh eh. Oh. Hey guys, so I am making breakfast. <laughs> so I got these croissants um, from Mr. Prime, Mr. Prime by Mama Shia along A1 when my husband was coming here. So they were frozen. So the lady said I want to read some instructions somewhere on how to prepare them because the packaging actually doesn't have I'm gonna show you guys a video of the actual packaging and she said Horama's the the instructions that she said I should read um are for frozen like mini pies and you know how you guys cook those like frozen just pop them in the oven wash them over on top with some egg or milk and then just bake them I'm like hypo croissants I don't know so I googled Google said I should Google said I should um let them thaw for a couple of hours and then then I can bake them. But my problem is that they're not they're not bouncy or anything. <laughs> but anyway, let's bake them. Um we'll see. Gonna be having the croissants with an egg, things scrambled, um some pork sausage and a tomato with some coffee. I think that'll be it. Guys, I baked these for, I don't know, I think 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> you ended up making toast. <laughs> but I put back um, two of the croissants. I put two of the croissants back in the oven. Honestly, I don't think it's going to work. 
had i saw i've just been googling so i saw some lady saying i should put okay we should put boiling water in the oven for like two to three hours when the oven is not on with the croissants on a baking tray or a baking paper and then you're gonna take them out with the water then preheat the oven then um egg wash them on top and then put them back in the oven so the purpose of that is so that the croissants can um basically rise or be like three times the size and honestly i think i'm gonna try that next time which might be tomorrow <laughs> Later that day, Hubby and I decided to get ice cream from our favorite ice cream spot, KFC. And then I decided for dinner to try out this new Nando's what what what. <laughs> it's actually called the Bag and Bake from Nando's. Got it from Pick and Pay in Sebele. So this happened. <laughs> I put the tray where I normally put it um, when I roast my chicken. So this happened. So I removed it and put the chicken in the tray without the parchment paper. So it's cooking. I think it'll be done in a few minutes. But I think I want to add Nando sauce because we actually have Nando sauce here. Just to have it a little bit juicier. Like... I, I normally order the chicken with extra sauce, so that's the vibe I want here at home. Anyways, I have some potatoes here, boiled these with aromat. I normally put Jimmy's sauce, this one, the chips and burger sauce, as well as some mayo and parsley in my potatoes. It tastes really, really good, but we are running out, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And then I also made some butternut. I think you guys saw that. Rice is currently cooking. So let me show you guys. What's happening to me in the dark? Can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window, trying to stop for a sign. It's the reason why. Because I'm not a quitter, the next day I tried out the method I was telling you about. The croissants, they were bouncy. I was so happy. 
pick them up um, for the recommended time and still they could not cook. So I give up. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, yeah.